Hello world, welcome to the 237th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. If you're new to my channel, I am building what I call an AI or a digital assistant that just automates my whole life. And a part of that is something I, I've called the Financial Genome Project, which kind of maps all the economic and political activity around me. So right now I'm going to start in the area where I live and then keep branching it out. And that will, you know, help inform my digital assistant about what's going on around me. And so we've automated quite a bit. We've automated our taxes and some of our personal finances. We've automated some news article searching. And today I'm going to use the LegisScan API or the free version to go through some bills and kind of shape and automate the political process at the state level. And so that's what we're going to do now. So LegisScan brings this automation of tracking all the state legislator around you. And so I live in Louisiana, so I'm going to pull that data. Before we start, you're going to have to get an API key so you can go to free registration for this one vote right here. And then go ahead and put your username, email address, password. Um, it defaults to the state you live in. So I live in Louisiana. Click this one vote unless you're planning on paying for it. Create new account. Then they will ask for email confirmation. So you update your email. Go to your email and confirm. Then you come back, fill in and say you're just using it for personal use. And then they will send you to your email in API key. With that API key, we can go into Python and create some scripts. But first you need to know that it goes off of your session IDs. And so let's, if you don't know what that means, let's go to Louisiana and you can see these uh, 2004, they're all around the same date because this is when the regular session is of 2024. The 2025 regular session has not happened yet. And so um, you can see here 2024 has had a third special session, a second extraordinary session, a special session, and a regular session. And so this is important, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but most of the pulls come off of the regular session, and that's why this is important to understand for your state. Uh, I used to live in California. Let's go here. And you can see that they only have regular sessions. Right? Louisiana is different. Uh, it is wild to say the least here, but that's okay. So now that we uh, understand that, we're going to go into Python and let me explain something that confuses a lot of people on my YouTube channel. So I don't show my API keys because for this YouTube channel, I primarily use free API keys. If I showed them on YouTube, people could use them and possibly you know, put me in some financial trouble by overusing my API key. So I'll explain why that's relevant in a second. So we're going to be using requests for this. And then this is the confusing part for many people. Um, from keys, import LegisScan key. So in this file, I have all my API keys. So I am importing this. If you don't have that, then create a separate variable here called LegisScan Legis key. And then copy and paste the API key they sent you, you can delete this line right here. Okay? So I hope I'm going to leave that there for now. Then we're going to do a um, URL request. So get the session list. And now we're going to display all the session IDs for Louisiana that we just saw on that on their web page. So first we're going to URL this is the base URL, the key. So delete this. This is just for mine and replace it with your key like that. If you want to pass it a variable or you can just delete these 
and paste your uh, API key directly in here. Um, common programming syntax is to put the key separate so you have it as a variable. So I hope you understand that. I'm going to delete that and then replace it with how I need to do it. Okay, and then the rest of this is all part of the standard base URL. And then you pass it the state you live in, which I created a variable here, LA for Louisiana. Then we do a request.get. Then if it's 200, 200 is the status code for good to go. We're gonna dump all of this into a JSON right here. We're not using the JSON anyway, which is why we don't import the JSON. And then if there's sessions in that data, then we're going to print all the Louisiana legislative uh, sessions. You can tell I used ChatGPT for this because it puts these little emoji symbols in here. I would not do that under normal conditions. And then we have this long here. So for session in, then we're gonna sort the data sessions by year start date. And then we're gonna put it in reverse order then we're going to print a dash session name and that session ID. And then we're going to get an error if uh, there's no session list. Maybe your API key is wrong or maybe your state is wrong. Maybe you have a spelling error in this. Either way, you might get a status code other than 200, which would return this error right here. Again, chat GPT silly uh, emojis. And then we're going to just run the program. So if name equals main, get session list. And let's look what that looks like. So we're going to run this file, session ID finder. And then just like you saw in that on their web page for Louisiana, we have these sessions right here. And we're given the session IDs. So let's look at the regular session is well, let's look at 2180 real quick. So now we're going to a new file and I'm going to replace this with 2180 and I'll explain that. And then let me put 2021 is 2024 regular session. Okay. So let's get rid of that. So this is very similar. So what we're going to do is import requests you can import JSON if you want. Um, if you want to see the response status code, like the data. So if you just want to see what a sample JSON looks like, but I'll get to that in a section. second. Okay, so from keys, import Legiscan key. So this is because I have a YouTube channel, as I previously explained. Then we're going to pass the session ID. So we're going to try 2180 which is the 2025 regular session and just see what that looks like first. Same thing, we're gonna get the URL, pass it this master list this time with the Legiscan key and the session ID, which is 2180. Uh, Request.get, pass it the URL, looking for status code 200. Um, if we wanna see a sample of the response, we can do this print statement, but I've uh, got rid of that. And then part of that JSON, you should see master list. And so if we are, um, if it sees master list, right? If the JSON was correct, we're gonna return the list, everything in the data list. If there's nothing in there, we're gonna print this error, no bills found or invalid response. And then we're gonna return this list right here, okay? Then in our main, when we call main, we're going to print this statement, fetching latest bills for Louisiana, pass it the session ID so we know what it is. Then we're gonna get the latest bills, passing it the session ID. That's what we just went over. Then if there's nothing in the bills, it's gonna have this different, this chat GPT uh, alarm, no bills found for the latest session. So that means we got a good status code there's just no bills for that session. And then we're gonna return th this print statement. If there are bills, so for each bill in the bills, and I'm only gonna show the latest 10 bills for this YouTube video, then we're going to print the bill number, the title, 
the last action date, and then the URL for that. And then we're going to print 50 dash lines. And then we start the program, right? So main is what we just went over. So let's look at what the 2025 regular session looks like. So let's run this. So fetching latest bills for Louisiana, session ID 2180. If you remember, that's this print statement right here. And then it says no bills found for latest session. So we, we got a good status code, right? Our API works, our key is good. We haven't exceeded our limits, but there's just no bills for this latest session because the 2025 regular session hasn't happened yet. So now let's pass it this 2121, which is the regular season for 2024. And let's see what we get now. So we got the latest bills for this session. And then you can see the bill number, HB1, the title, the last action date. These mostly, since I have them in reverse order, are in June because this is when the May to June is when the regular session happens. And then the bill URL, so we can click on that if you're using PyCharm. If you're using like VS Code or Jupyter Notebook, I don't know how URLs show up. All right, so it takes us directly to LAHB1. And then you can read the texts of the bills if you want the votes on it so you can see the yays and nays um, you can kind of see the history here of it the sponsors of it and then the summary of it what it's about and then here's the text if you wanted to read the actual bill if you are fluent in bill reading so which is an art and there you go so that is um, just some quick automation of using the Legiscan API. Um, I am going to continue working on this, so I will not be posting it on the GitHub. I will post my X profile in the description, so please feel free to DM me on X. Um, make sure you follow me first, and then I will send you the code. So I look forward to connecting with you. Please do connect with me on X. I got my X account hacked, and so I'm starting a new one. So I hope to see you there, and thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.